Good evening. Hope you're all doing well. Today we are learning Maseches Gittin Daf Samach Tes, starting at the very top word. Uh, there's a lot of translations today of words we're not used to. Most of these words we're learning about some of the um, some of the science, some of the medicines, and some of the practices that took place a long time ago. Uh, we have a Masora that we're not supposed to be doing these things um, because we don't really know exactly what every spice is, what every ingredient is. So as we read, there will be some words that I don't know myself uh, and I couldn't even find reasonable translations for, uh, but we will learn it to the best of our ability. Let's start at the top of the page, Samach Tes, top word. Lebrukti, this is a disease, Rashi says at the top, it's an illness of the eye. So Lacey, here's what you should bring. You should bring Akravta, the Shev Chomre. You should bring a scorpion that's made of seven shades of colors. Benis Yab Betula, that's been dried out sitting in the shade. The nishchok, and we should grind it up. Tarte mansa kuchla, the chada mansa mine. We should have two units of some kind of eye salve and one unit of this ground up scorpion. The limle tlasa mikochle bahayena, the tlasa mikachle bahayena. We should put three units of measure in each eye. But tfe lo limle, don't put in too much. The lo pakaene, we're afraid that if you put in too much, it could be damaging for the eye. Says the Gemara Lishivrire Delelia, this is difficulty for a person to see at night. Says the Gemara, Nesi Shudra Barka, Rashi says, uh, Rashi's 12 lines down or so, Shudra Barka, Chevel Shal Seyar Behema Vishel Dnav Susvipara. It's a rope that's made out of the, the horse or the, by the, the hair of one of these animals, of the Susra Para, of a horse or a cow. The Nesar Chada Karami Neve Chada Karami Kalba. You should tie this rope, one around your leg and one around the leg of a dog. The nitrafu yenuke chaspa abasre. And children should clank and break. A chaspa is pottery behind you. And they should call out an incantation. Asa kalba ichsa tarnagola. And this phrase means old dog, mad rooster. And this was one of the ways to get rid of this illness. The ligbi shev unse. Mishiva Bese, and you should get seven pieces of raw meat from seven homes. But of course, make sure, read the package insert. It says that you have to collect this meat only at the threshold of the house. And you need to read it, you need to eat it, excuse me. You need to eat it, demata. you need to eat it at the part of the city that's by the kilkula, by the dumpster of the city. After that, Lift show, you should untie Shudra Barka. You should untie the rope that's connected to your leg and to the dog's leg. The name Ruhachi, you should say the following phrase. Shavriri de Ploni Barplonisa. This Shavriri, this disease that this particular person has. Shavkin hu Ploni Barplonisa. You should leave this person's body. And that's how one can get rid of a challenge of seeing at night. 10, 12 lines down, three lines into the wide lines. And there should be, uh, it says on the side here, that uh, there should be, uh, someone should blow air into the pupil of a dog. I don't know what to tell you. That's what the Gemara says. If there's someone who struggles to see during the day, one should get seven spleens from inside animals. And it should be roasted on top of a piece of pottery that was used by an uman, by someone who does bloodletting. And he should sit on the inside. And someone who is able to see, they should sit outside. And the person who's blind, sitting on the inside of the house, should say to the person who's sitting on the outside of the house, Please bring me some food to eat. The name Malay, and then the person on the outside would say back to him, the name Malay, the guy who can see, he would say, so, he would say, come take some food, I have plenty for you. Buster to Achil, after the person who was having difficulty seeing would eat, Lisbere the Chaspa, they should break the piece of Chaspa upon which the spleens were roasted. Dilo, if you don't, Hadre Ilove, because if you don't, the disease will come back. Says the Gemara, if a person has bleeding coming out of their nose, or someone who has a nose bleed, Lacey Gavra Kohen Deshmei Levi. Says the Gemara, you need to find a Kohen. 
whose first name is Levi. The licht of Levi, the Mafreya. And you should write the word Levi backwards. So write it Yud Vav Lamed instead of Lamed Vav Yud. Vilo, and if you cannot find a Kohen whose name is Levi, then Laisi and Ishmael, you should get a regular guy, even a Yisrael. The Nichtov Le, and he should write the following Ana Papi Shila Bar Sumki. I am Papi Shila Bar Sumki. And this phrase you should write Lemafreya, meaning in, you would start with the Sumki and write it backwards. Yud Kufs Mem Vav Samech, and then keep going backwards. This is how you stop nosebleeds. Be low. If that is something that you don't have access to, then Nichtov Lehachli, they should write something else. Tam Dali Bemekesef. The taste of the of what is in the pitcher is that of silver. Tam delibame pigam. The taste of that which is in the pitcher is a spoiled taste. Be low, and if that doesn't work to stop the nosebleed, lacy ikra de aspasta. Aspasta is some kind of plant. The ashla de puria atika, a rope from an old bed. The kurtisa umoriki, and paper that's made out of some type of cloth of a rag. The sumka. The red of a lulav, the red of the leaves of a fern. They should all be burnt up together, uh, all of the ingredients that we just said. The lace give over the imra, and they should take um, a couple pieces of wool. The nigdil tartip silta, and you should twine, spin together two wicks. The litmish be chala, and they should be dipped into vinegar. The nigdabal be kitma hadain. And the, it says in the site here, we should roll them in the ashes of the ingredients that we, bur- that we burned. The nese binichire, and you should put it into your nostrils. Simple. Below, and if that doesn't work, lechte amas hamayim da'azlas mi mizrach klape maru. We should then try and find water that flows east to west. The nifsa, and we should um, jump over it. And then v'nekum chad kar lahaygisa v'chad kar lahaygisa. After that, one should straddle the river and put one foot on each side. It's not a river; it's a small stream. V'nishkol tina tina biyade diyamina mitusikar desmole. You should take dirt with your right hand from under your left foot. Uviyade desmola and with your left hand mitusikar diyamine. And with your left hand, you should take dirt from under your right foot. Vinigdol tarte psilta de imra, and you should again take two wicks and spin them from wool. Vinitmish betina, dip them into the dirt. Vinese binachire, and put them into your nostrils. Vilo, this is I think treatment number five uh, for the for the nose bleeding. Lese tuse marziva, a person should uh, sit underneath a spigot. Um, you should kind of imagine this, you're sitting under a spigot and other people can fill up the container with which the spigot is connected to. And then, v'nei sumaya, other people will collect water, v'lishtu ale, they should pour water on him through the container that the spigot is now open over his head, v'lemru, and they should say the following line, ki hechi depaske hani mayim, just like we're pouring a limited amount of water, we're not pouring water forever, just like this water is going to end, Lifsok dummy de planya bar planisa. So too, this man, uh, his nosebleed should stop, and they'll say by name his name, the son of the mother's name. The dama de asimi puma. If a person has blood that's coming out of their mouth, but then but kinan we have to check. But kinan lay the gila de chitza with a straw with a uh, with a single stalk of wheat. Isarich. If the blood that is coming out sticks to the stalk of wheat, then mirea costly, that's coming from the lungs, the isle tekanta, and that is something that we can heal. However, the ilo, and if not, mechabda kaasi, it's coming from the liver, the lesle tekanta, and there is nothing to heal. So it seems over here is that the lung is less bad than the liver. However, Omar le Rabani the Rabashi, Ba'anan ibchatnan, we learned in Masech Eschulen the exact opposite. It says the Gemara two-thirds of the way down on Samech Tesmer, Nitel HaKaved, below Nishtair Heimena Klum, that if a Kaved is completely removed, or Hareya Shenikva O Shechasra, or if there's a lung that was pierced, or that's missing even a little bit, so which one is more strict? We're much more strict about the lung, yet it doesn't seem that way from our uh, medical examples earlier. The Amar Lehi responded to him, Ravashi says back to Ravami, Kevan de Mipume Kaasi, once the blood is so bad that it's coming out of a person's mouth, it must be, Amar, I must say, Smuche Ismach, that the liver has somehow 
uh, liquefied or is bleeding extensively. And therefore, in this particular case, the liver is worse. But you're right in general. We're more sensitive about the lungs. Anyways, Amar Lay, we had said, Kevin Demi Pume Kosti, that since the, uh, sorry, Amar Mar, excuse me. Yeah, Amar Mar, we had said, Imi Rea Kosti, that if it was coming from the lungs, Isle Takanta, that if it, the blood is coming from the lungs, that there is a solution. My Takante, what would be the solution for such a case? Says the Gemara, Lacey Shiva Kune Mi Pirma de Silka. A Kune is a handful. You should take seven handfuls of pirma sliced de silka, sliced beets, the shiva kune pirma de karti, and seven handfuls of sliced leek, the chamisha kune preda, and you should take six units of preda, which Rashi says is a type of grass, the tilsa kune de tilfache, and you should take three handfuls of lentils, the kuna de kimona, you should take a handful of uh, cumin, the kuna de chavle, and chavle isn't translated here by Rashi, yet another ingredient. Um, and uh, an equivalent amount of all of those things is kantaptirta, the entrails of an animal. The live shell, you should cook all of them together. The lechul, and you should eat them. And then the lishtia basre shechro harifa. After that, you should drink some very strong beer, the teves, from the month of teves. Over here, the month of Tevis just basically means that it's been sitting in the container a long time fermenting and that the alcohol is very strong. Says the Gemara, Lekacha, for the disease of Lekacha, what is this? Take a look at Rashi, six lines before the wide lines. Rashi says, Chole hashinayim ha-pnimiyim, the innermost teeth. So maybe this is talking about wisdom teeth, or maybe this is talking about molars. Whatever the case may be, it's some type of toothache. Amarabha baravuna, lesi tumi chida, you should take a, uh, a head of garlic that only has one clove, and you should sprinkle it with or mix it with oil and with salt. You should put it on the nail of your thumb, on the same side of the mouth that actually hurts you. So if the right back tooth is hurting you, you're going to put this mixture of... Uh, uh, of kuma, of garlic with oil and with salt on your right thumb. And v'nedar lei gandipadalisha, you should surround it with a ring of dough. V'niz dahar lebisra, you should be very careful not to get this on your skin. Dekashi lechivra, because it can be very dangerous for your skin. What about lechinchi? So here on the side, the lechinchi say it's some type of swelling in the throat, maybe an abscess of the throat, something along those lines. Amr Rabbi Yochanan, Homas, Chumsi, Kimimru, one type of plant is called Chumsi, is similar to another plant of called Memru, but the Ikra de Chumsi, the Ikra, the root of the Chumas, is Adit Mimru, is better than the plant of Mimru. The Ninkot Bipume, and you should put it in your mouth, and Hani Le'okume, this is going to minimize the, minimize the, uh, the swelling. Levishule, in order to cook things, this doesn't mean cook. In this case, it means to concentrate together all of the pus before they uh, burst the pus in the mouth. This is a multi-step process. Then, lysi pe'ere deresh nafia. This means that we should take bran from the top of some type of, uh, of colander. And we should take lentils in their own dirt. Vishov lilta v'chumrasa dikshusa. And we should take fenugreek, and blossoms from the hops plant. Hops are used in beer. The nimkot, and we should take an amount, the amount of a nut is what one should put in their mouth. Leave tuche, in order to get all of the pus to burst, and therefore that's part of the healing process. Limpach le chabre, a person should blow something into their mouth. Tach le chibrasa, the gila de chitsa, the seeds of cress, and they should do so through a straw made out of wheat. Lasuke to heal the skin now that the skin has burst and, uh, and released all of the pus, this final stage of healing. Lase, you should bring afra, dirt, mitula de besa kise, from the shadowed areas of a bathroom, the nigbol beducha, and you should mix it with honey, the nechul, and you should eat it, which sounds disgusting, de malele, because that is how we will get healed. Says the Gemara Le Barsain, which is yet another disease. Rashi, three lines from the bottom, says Le Barse. He says, It's some type of nasal passage inflammation, something along those lines. 
Lacey, ki psikta de nishtor, that you should take a measured amount of ammoniac, vichi amguza de chalbanitza dushenisa, and you should take a, a nut's worth of volume of chalbanisa, of galvanum, which is sweetened, umale tarvida dushachibra, and you should take a spoonful of white honey, umale nut labas mechoza chalanikida, and you should take a cup's worth of amount of uh, of chamra of wine that is that is not red wine that is clear or white. You should cook all of these ingredients together. When the when the nishtor is all cooked, then everything is considered cooked, and then you should use that. If you don't have that, you should take a revius of milk from a white iza, from a white aze, from a white goat, turning to the top of da. Samach Tes Amud Beis, and we'll be going until about ten lines from the bottom of the page. Then a Taife Atlas Kilche Karva, and you should have it drip over three stalks of cabbage. The Nivcheshe Begavsa de Marmehon, and we should stir this with a, a branch from a tree called Marmehon. The Chibashel Gavza be Marmehon. Once the branch is cooked, then we know Bashel Lekule. Everything else is cooked, and then it can be used to solve this problem. The Elo, three lines down. Le say nafke de kalbachivra. We should take something from a white dog, the nigval the tinfa. We should take the the excrement from a, a dog that is white and we should mix it up in natfa, says the Gemara. It should be mixed up with balsam. And that is something that we should actually use. Again, very unpleasant. That's something we should use to heal this type of illness. The kama de efshar nafka lo nechel, but as much as is possible. And I think I'll ascribe to this one. We should try not to eat excrement. Demafric, it's very, very bad for the body. Says the Gemara, Legira, if a person has a pain in their heart, Lacey Gira de Lelta, this is a particular type of rock, Benafre, turn it over, Benashte Mai Ilave, pour water over the rock, and then Benishte, drink the water that was in touch with the rock. The Ilo, if you can't do that, six, seven lines down, Lacey Mi Maya de Ishtimi Nayo Kalba Balelia. We should use the water. Uh, from the doggy dish of water, water that a dog drank from. However, veniz daher mi giluya. But we have to remember that we have a din called maim giluyim, that we're not allowed to drink water that's been left out for a certain period of time because that is considered a danger to the body. And says the Gemara, le giluya, if in fact you drink water that is maim megulim, so then how do you treat that problem? Anpika, which is a certain measure of liquid, decham rechaya, of raw wine. Remember that their wine was very intense and very strong when it was in its raw form, and they would have to water it down in order, they would have to dilute it in order to make it a, an enjoyable wine. So if you drank Mayim Giluyim, then the problem wasn't that the dog drank out of the bowl. The problem is that it was Mayim Megulim. So if the water was revealed, then you need to treat that. Limursa, if there's an, a, another type of abscess, says the Gemara, An Pekadachamra Be'ohala Tulana. That one should also drink some wine that's mixed with red aloe. Lapir chavaliba. If there's a weakness of a person's heart, lacy tlas brushiosa de sare. We should get three loaves of barley bread. Inishterinhu bekimcha, and we should soak it in. Uh, we should soak it. What did I write here? Oh. We should soak it in a dish of some kind of kimcha. Delo avar ilave arba in yomin. That has not. That is not forty days old. The nechul, and then we should eat it. The nishte abasrayu chamra marka. And at the end of that, after we eat the, those loaves of bread, we should drink chamra marka, which is uh, heavily diluted wine, a very uh, low alcoholic content. Amar le ravachem idifti the rabina. That doesn't make sense. The kol shekain the parach libe. If you drink that, that's not good for someone who is weak of heart. That's pretty in, intense. Again, we can't appreciate this because it's not our culture. It's, uh, we, we don't even understand why this wouldn't even be weak. But the Gemara says that this is not good for someone who's weak of heart. So Amar Le, I didn't mean for someone who is weak of heart. Oh no, when I said what I just said about the the barley uh, about the barley bread and it's going to sit in a liquid that isn't forty years old, forty days old, etc. All of that is liyokra de libra amre. That's talking about someone who's liyokra de libra. Someone who has a very heavy heart. And instead, for those who are weak of heart, we should take three loaves of wheat bread, not barley bread. Again, a subtle distinction. Who know, would have known the difference?
we should soak that in honey, the nechul, and then we should eat it. And after that, we should drink some raw wine. The Gemara says, for a different type of ailment that a person has in their heart. The Gemara says, three eggs worth of ninya, which is mint, uh, which we see sometimes on packages. Nanati, same word, it's been around for a long time. Ubeasa de Kamona, an egg's worth of cumin. Ubeasa de Shum Shimi, and as well, an egg's worth amount of sesame, Vilecho, and that should be eaten. Lekeev Mei, if a person has a stomach ailment, they say they should bring, we're a little bit more than a third of the way down, Tlas Mea Pilpale Arichta, 100, I'm sorry, 300 peppers that are long. The Cholyoma, every day, Nishte Mea Minaihu, for three days in a row, you should drink. Wine that has a pepper in it um, for a hundred each day. That's a lot of wine. I think this Gemara is mm -hmm. an approximation, or I should say an exaggeration. hundred cups of wine a day is not very good for anybody. Ravan from the city of Norash did this actually to treat Ravashi's daughter when she had a stomach ache. Um, and and he did 150 of these. The previous version was 100 per day. In this case, he did 150 total and v'itzia. Lekirza says the Gemara. Lekirza is some type of intestinal worms, not pleasant. Anpeka the chamra beitrafa de ara. One should have a measure of wine with something called laurel in it, a laurel leaf, which should be put inside of the drink. Lekirza chivra. If the intestinal worms were white. Lacy bizda gilgila. says the Gemara, this is a type of plant that you should put that type of plant inside the drink, and then you should drink it. Benitsaire bishistag, it should be wrapped up in wool. Benitsaire bimaya, it should be soaked in water, and then benishta, you should drink it. Benizdahir mi dinta, one should be careful not to swallow this, just to put it in their mouth. Di ilo, if you're not careful, min kabbalah lemeena. Because this could lead to the piercing of one's intestines. Lemisar. Lemisar is diarrhea. So here is sisin retiva vimaya. Here the treatment is to take fresh pennyroyal, which is a, a growth, it's a, some type of vegetation. And that is the treatment. Lemisra, if a person ha, is constipated, then yevishta vimaya. They should take the pennyroyal, but they should dry it first. The simina, how do I remember? Itza retiva de sachar nahara. That which is uh, fresh can clog up a river, which means that which is dried out can empty out the river. Again, just a way to remember things. The Gemara says, um, letachla, and letachla is, um, if a person has a swollen spleen, lacy shave bine de maya, a person should take uh, seven water leeches, vinyavshinhu betula, they should be dried out in the shade, Every day, you should drink two or three of these leeches with wine. I don't know what the halachic aspects are of this. Maybe you're drinking the wine, but you're not actually drinking the leeches. The chorah leeches, something that we're not allowed to eat. There are some bugs we're allowed to eat, but not this one. Below, two-thirds of the way down, we should take a spleen from an animal that has yet to have a child. The nitria be tenura. We should place it on the wall of an oven. The nuki lehade. We should uh, start to burn it, and then we should say the nema yehechi di yavishai tachla. Just like this spleen is drying out, the yavish tachlia de ploni bar plonisa. So too should the spleen of this particular person dry out. The ilo, and if that doesn't work, then says the Gemara nitchiye beni urve de besa chadata. You should put it between the bricks of your house of new bricks. The name hachin. You should say the same thing that just like this will dry out as mortar, so too this person's spleen will dry out. Vilo. And if that's not the case, then livki shivcha de shachiv b'shapsa. So here the Gemara says we should uh, find something that. Is resting on Shabbos, and then you should be able to put it up, put it on the spleen. We're talking about a person who uh, who is dying on Shabbos. So let's just go back because I didn't say that part. Sorry. The we should find someone uh, that shichva de shachiv 
Bishabs, so someone who died on Shabbos, for Nishkalevi we should take his hand and put this man's hand on our spleen. The name of, and we should say, just like this man is dying and his hand will soon dry up. So too, this person's spleen should dry up. And if that doesn't work, Nasi, you should bring the Nisa. You should bring a, a fish. And it should be roasted. And it should be, you should drink it from the water of like a blacksmith. There was an Iza, there was a goat. That had, that drank the water from a blacksmith. And Ishtachid, when it was, uh, when it was shechted, below Ishtachach Leitachla. It didn't have a spleen at all. So this certainly works in drying up spleens, so much so that if you drink too much, it will remove your spleen. We're at the first of the very long lines, just a few lines to go, and then we're going to stop. The ilo, if that's not the solution for your problems, then lift up chabisa dechamra lishmei. You should open a barrel of wine that's specifically for you, meaning go buy a nice bottle of wine. Amar le ravacha berei de rava le ravachi. Eis le chabisa dechamra lo asi likmei demar. This, uh, you're never going to have this problem if you have brand new wine. Ella, it must be that really there's a different solution. A person should make a custom of eating bread in the morning, namely of eating breakfast. We see this a couple times in Shas. There's also a Gemara in Baba Kama, accordingly, that says that uh, a person who eats breakfast, 60 men can't catch him running. So that's what the Gemara says. The It's good for his whole entire body. The um, if a person has a disease uh, like uh, uh, of hemorrhoids, so the Gemara says, Lacy akika ve'ilva, they should bring um, quicksilver and one of its byproducts, ve'ispircha umarta, and uh, sorry, acacia. Let me go back. It's acacia, and it's also quicksilver. Uh, then the Gemara says, v'chumrsa de pilon v'shiafa de chamisa. Um, and there's a, this woman's locket. This, that's what the pilon is. V'shiafa de chamisa is excrement of some kind of bird. V'ninkot, and we should take it. V'shachke, and we should grind it up. De kitna, bekaita, uda amar gufna, besita, besito. And what we should do with it is we should wrap flax cloth around it in the summer. The ilo, lishti shichra marka, you should drink some watered down beer. And this is what we're stopping. Yeah, we're going to stop right here at uh, Le Chigrona. And, and tomorrow we'll start talking about that disease. Uh, my flight in Yerts Hashem, if it's on time coming back from Florida, we should be able to do this in person. Um, I just wanted to add one piece here is that sometimes I know for myself when I read these Gemaras, I kind of like brush them off like as a little bit out of the box. These things worked back in the day. They weren't like fluke types of things. They had a Masora. They had a tradition that these things work. No crazier, although we don't see the process, of some of the ingredients that go into the medications that we eat. We just don't understand the science and don't know the ingredients. So I just don't want us to view this as like a daft that never should have happened. This is something that used to work back in the day. Unfortunately, we don't know what all of the measurements are. We don't know what all of the ingredients are. And even if we did, we shouldn't try it. But I just want to make sure that our hashkafa is correct when we learn these things, that they are, um, of course, Torah, and these are the types of healings that people used back in the day. We'll stop right here and pick up Amir Sashem tomorrow night. Wishing you all a beautiful night.